Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech News. My name is Aditya and in today's episode we are going to talk about 5G prices in India are likely to be not very high. Also, Apple is gearing up for its big event this week and it's not just going to be about iPhones, there's going to be a lot more up on the cards. And a quick tip for Android smartphone users so that you never miss your notifications. So let's get started with today's episode. Well, we all know that 5G is about to launch in India in the coming months and uh, now that the 5G spectrum auctions have been done, telecom operators have been assigned their respective 5G spectrum, it's now all about the service rollout. But there's a lot of interest and intrigue as to how the 5G prices will be available in the Indian market. Basically, like how much will you have to pay for 5G data usage? Now, a report from Economic Times says that 5G prices are likely to be less than what you've actually uh, expected it to be. And that's primarily going to be because uh, all these phone makers who are going to offer 5G devices, they are likely to bundle their uh, devices with 5G plans from uh, the likes of uh, Airtel and Reliance or probably Vodafone Idea as well. Now, the report clearly suggests that uh, Realme has already uh, talked with uh, Airtel for such an arrangement and it is likely to bring a budget smartphone with 5G support uh, in the coming, uh, in, the, in the near future. We don't really have an exact timeline, so we wouldn't really comment on that. The report also suggests that uh, others are likely to follow suit and uh, it will be interesting to see how much of a difference uh, 5G bundling with these devices makes for the buyers because uh, these kind of models have been tried before by different operators but they're not exactly very successful in a market like India where uh, devices sell uh, unlocked and you are basically free to choose whatever operator you want to tie up with. Now with uh, Vodafone, Airtel and you offering 5G services, it will be interesting how the prices go about and which of these operator manages to give you a competitive package that is pocket friendly as well. Well, September 7th is going to be an excitement and action-packed day for Apple fanboys and that's not just because it's going to be the iPhone 14 series launching but you also are expecting the Apple Watch Series 8 and the new AirPods Pro 2 version as well. But there's also another device which is expected and that's probably going to be called the Apple Watch Pro according to reports. Now, a lot of design leaks have uh, come up on the internet in the past few days and uh, there seems to be kind of an affirmation that this product is going to be part of the launch event as well as is the AirPods Pro 2. Now AirPods Pro 2 are going to be the logical successor to the AirPods Pro which was announced and uh, basically what it does is that it improves on the audio quality and gives you better durability with probably water and dust resistance and we are really expecting that for a high-end AirPods uh, it gives you top-notch uh, noise cancellation along with transparency mode as well. The Watch Pro is probably going to be the more uh, in, uh, it's going to be the more uh, interesting device out of the lot because Watch Pro is expected to focus on uh, like proper fitness freaks and uh, give you a lot more details than the regular Apple Watch series, which which itself is quite informative to be honest. And uh, the screen is going to be a bit bigger. The design is going to be completely overhauled to give the Pro a definite touch, which is likely to come at a higher cost. Now, during the intro of this uh, episode, we talked about how you can actually be smart with your notifications on your Android smartphone. Here's a feature called Notification History, which has been available since the Android 11 version on most Android devices. And what it does is it lets you access the notifications you might have missed previously. Here's how it works. We get a lot of notifications all through the day and uh, basically you're talking about notifications for WhatsApp, Twitter or even your mail notifications, let's say if it's for work related or even personal matters. Now notifications can be hard to track, keep a track of and uh, you definitely want a better understanding of what kind of notifications you've missed or you've kind of just ignored or something like that. So uh, it's good to see that uh, Android has made some um, improvisions over the years and uh, since Android 11 version came out, uh, it has added this feature called notification history. Now we're going to show you how that works. Basically what it does is that it shows you all the previous notifications that you might have missed and it's basically cataloged into one area on the smartphone and uh, you can basically access for different apps the kind of notifications you missed. So now we'll show you how that works. You go to the settings of the phone and this primarily works for any Android phones. So what you just have to do is you just have to follow these basic uh, like uh, tips and you will just get those. So now you see this notification status bar, you just tap on this and uh, then you have all these uh, things that you see over here, the apps and all. Now you go to more settings, you'll see this notification history over here. 
it's turned off which is why uh, i don't get any notification uh, up, like uh, history or anything right now so you just click on this and you enable notification history now what will happen is you will get a, a, a background or a history of all the notification that you missed or probably ignored. Now as you can see over here, it says notification history is off, turn on notification history to view past notifications including smooth ones. So this is quite a handy feature that uh, Android smart use, uh, smartphone users have and I feel that they should definitely enable it right away. So that's it for another episode of Top Tech News. Hope you enjoyed all the details and trivia and the tips that we've offered. Stay tuned with News 18 Tech for more updates from India and other global tech stories.